Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is simply just graphing a line. So, if you would, let me read it to you. Uh, y equals negative 3 over 5 x plus 2. So, if you would, uh, try this one on your own. Alright. Now, if you should, you should notice right off the bat that this is in slope-intercept form. So this would be your slope, whatever's in front of the x, and whatever's by itself, there is no x, is your y-intercept. So this is your m, which is your slope, and this is your b in the form of y equals mx plus b. So this is your slope. All right, so what you do now, first find the y-intercept. Y-intercept is two. So two, draw a point. Now your next point is gonna be based upon the slope. So you're gonna go down three, one, two, three, and then over five. One, two, three, four, five and then just draw your second point. Now, you don't necessarily have to draw these lines here, these little segments. I'm just doing that so that you can see the slope. And there you go. Now, if you really wanted to, what you could have done is the other way. The other way would be 3 over negative 5. So you would go up three, one, two, three. And then since it's negative, right, the run is going to run this way. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. And it's not exact because these intervals are not exact. But you get the point. With something that's negative, you can either you know, um, use a slope 3 over negative 5 or negative 3 over positive 5. It's just you can't do both. If you do both, make both negative, it makes a whole slope positive. But what you're starting off is with negative. So you have to choose either the numerator or the denominator to be negative. And just stick by it. Once you have two points, you have the y-intercept, and based upon the slope, you have your second point. You draw a straight line, and that's it. You're all done.